Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Al Wadi Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, their Highnesses the sons of His Majesty as well as UAE Deputy Premier and Minister of Interior His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, members of the Royal Family, the Speaker of the Representatives Council and Chairman of the Shura Council, ministers and senior officials and diplomats who offered congratulations on the wedding of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the daughter of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa. Khalifa. His Majesty blessed the wedding, congratulating His Highness Sheikh Khalid and wishing him a happy married life. His Majesty also expressed thanks and appreciation for the kind sentiments of the attendees.
Then His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received well wishers on the occasion. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed pride and honor for the attendance of His Majesty the King, calling on God Almighty to bestow on His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa also thanks His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for attending the ceremony. He also thanked other well wishers, wishing Bahrain continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of His. Majesty the King. The well wishers expressed their sincere congratulations, wishing His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa a blessed marriage and to His Majesty the King continued health and happiness.
أشوف براقن سراب قيوم أشوف براقن سراب قيوم أشوف براقن سراب قيوم His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today received at Ghadaybiya Palace the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mulla, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, and the Chairman of the two Council's Financial and Economic Affairs Committees. His Royal Highness stated that the current priority is to preserve citizens' rights in the new budget, and he directed to rationalize expenditure in the disbursements of ministries and government entities without affecting the citizens living standards and rights. He affirmed that reaching a balanced compromise formula for the budget between the two authorities' representatives is a priority to achieve developmental projects that benefit the country and its people, highlighting the importance of the social dimension as a key aspect of the country's general budget. The Prime Minister asserted that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives always prioritize citizens' interests and aspirations and that the government had set the country's general budget despite difficulties to achieve them. His Royal Highness hailed the ongoing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities on the draft law of adopting the country's general budget for the years 2017 and 2018, asserting that their joint effort represents a guarantee for the new budget to emerge in its optimal form and to enhance its role as a key tool of executing the adopted financial policies and to provide the required cash flow for pioneering developmental projects. His Royal Highness reviewed with the Council Chairman the actions taken so far in the ongoing consultation between the authorities' representatives on the budget. Noting that the government will always be willing to answer questions and receive suggestions on the subject. He stressed the need for concerned efforts or concrete efforts to achieve maximum efficiency in dealing with current developments on the global economy field and the significant decline in the oil prices in world markets, highlighting the importance of policies and programs that will be a priority during the budget consultation. The two councils' chairmen expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's continuous support for the the budget consultation and for enhancing cooperation between the two authorities, affirming that His Royal Highness's directives and vision help achieve further progress and prosperity on various levels, among which the financial and economic level. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadaybiya Palace today a number of businessmen, journalists and officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia seeks the good for the region and its people, and those who desire it should head to Riyadh for its Gulf, Arab and Islamic status, hailing the leaders of the region that are keen on protecting their countries and their people, also commending those who seek the good for the region to achieve its best interests and a better future for their people. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government follows the needs of citizens and the specialized bodies in its implementation, also affirming that it is the government's policy to develop the citizens' rights and increase their gains, not adding burdens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pleasure at the high level shown by citizens and journalists regarding their interactions with various development and challenges. His Royal Highness reaffirmed that the purpose of every governmental work is the development of the nation and the welfare of citizens, which is accomplished through accelerating the implementation pace of several development projects that include all regions of the kingdom. He also stressed that uh, the importance of maintaining the pillars of security and stability, which is considered a main pillar that supports the development march and uh, doubling its gains for the benefit of the nation and its people. His Royal Highness the Premier praised the businessman's vital role in strengthening the aspects of national economy and supporting the government's development efforts, which in turn reinforced Bahrain's economic and uh, commercial status in the region. His Royal Highness stressed that the government is keen on consolidating partnership with the private sector and providing all facilities that ensure that the sectors play its national role, which increases the pace of internal and external investment.
The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah hailed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives on listing citizens' affairs, financial amounts, and various fields as part of the draft law on the country's general budget for the years 2017 and 2018, which is being discussed by the legislative and executive authorities. The Shura Council Chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives that reflect His Majesty's approach of providing a decent living for citizens, according to the aspect. Operations. Al Saleh noted that the meeting held today between the Shura Council members and the Council's Financial and Economic Affairs Committee to review the uh, consensus on the general budget and to identify the available possibilities affirms the importance of prioritizing the inclusion of the royal directives within the budget sections. Al Saleh stated that achieving further uh, prosperity for Bahraini citizens, developing their living standards and improving the services provided to them are among the priorities of his Majesty the King and the legislative authority supports His Majesty's vision. He declared that he will work on expediting the approval of the budget draft law. The Shura Council Speaker Ali bin Salah Al Salah chaired the weekly session held today in which the Council approved a draft law amending a certain provisions of Decree Law No. 15 of 1986 on regulating tourism. According to the report prepared by the Council Service Committee, the Council also approved Decree Law No. 36 for the year 2015 regarding the suspension of rights and benefits of pensions in the event of the withdrawal loss, dropping or naturalization of Bahraini nationally, nation, nationality without legal permission. In regards to Bahrain's accession to four international conventions, the Council approved the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee's reports relating to this matter. The first convention concerns uh, the compensation for damage to third parties resulting from acts of unlawful interference, including or involving aircrafts. The second convention concerns the uh, suppression of unlawful acts relating uh, to international civil aviation. The third is the compensation for damage caused by aircrafts to third parties. And the fourth convention concerns uh, the suppression of unlawful seizure of aircrafts, which the Council shall further discuss. The Bahrain-based Arab Regional Center for World Heritage will take part in the 41st session of the World Heritage Committee to be held this year in Poland, with the participation of the state parties to the World Cultural and Natural Heritage Protection Convention. On the occasion of this participation that is taking place in the Polish city of Krakow, the Bahrain Authority of Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, President Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that this event represents the international community's recognition of the importance of the preservation of world heritage which is being threatened more than ever before. She also pointed to intensifying efforts to include Arab sites on the world heritage list through the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage and pushed them to be protected under the umbrella of UNESCO. Sheikh May expressed her pleasure in the world's recognition of the ancient city of Hebron and its religious uniqueness on one hand and her hopes for such places it to remain safe on the other. The Arab Regional Center for World Heritage held a meeting in the presence of Sheikh May, attended by more than 500 cultural and diplomatic personalities. Among the invitees are ambassadors from 192 countries and representatives of international organizations including UNESCO, World Heritage Center, the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the ISESCO, the International Conference on Agrarian Reform and Rural Development, the ICARD, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN. The ceremony aims to enhance the role of Bahrain as an active member of the World Heritage Committee. The Mohammed bin Faris band had a concert where a number of songs were presented as an original Bahraini art. The audience also had the opportunity to learn about cultural programs in the Kingdom of Bahrain through publications, books, and pamphlets. A very good evening, you're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiva Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain Oil Trade Index closed today at 1,310.04 points.
marking a decrease of 0.82 points below the previous closing. The decrease was due to a fall in the commercial bank sector, in which investors mainly traded, representing 62% of the total value of traded shares. 40 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,852,384 shares, worth 8,518 Bahraini dinars. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussain Mirza received a delegation from Earth Energy Environmental Services represented by their CEO Ramsey. The two sides reviewed investment in the renewable energy sector as well as street lightning systems and electrical energy saving devices. Ramsey represented a proposal on smart street lightning in Bahrain with a magnetic energy recovery system that would save a good proportion of energy. The minister praised the company's efforts and reviewed the new services and projects at office in the field of renewable energy and energy efficiency. The company executives were also briefed on the opportunities available to invest in energy efficiency projects and solar energy.